Here's how I think about getting a great jazz ride cymbal sound. This is my Pergamon Hakken Feedin Thin Ride. It's a 20 inch cymbal and it's a great cymbal to play and there's a lot of sounds that I can access with it. So in terms of my general purpose riding sound, the closer I go to the bell, the more definition and the more articulation I'll get. And the closer I go to the edge, the more wash, the more sustained, the more low pitch I'll get. Every cymbal will have a sweet spot where it's a perfect balance of that definition from the bell and the wash from the edge of the cymbal. It'll probably be about halfway between the bell and the edge of the cymbal. For me, it's right on this pergamon stamp, so maybe about two thirds of the way down the cymbal. hear exactly the amount of wash and the amount of articulation that I'm looking for. So that's great for me. When it comes to playing the bell, if I play with the tip of the stick, I'll get a very clear, very high pitched sound. But if I want to play accents on the bell, that's where the heavier part of the stick comes in. So if I hit with a really heavy part of the stick on the side of the bell, I'll get this loud, low, sort of fat bell sound. And if I use the same position, just a little bit higher, hitting closer to the tip, I'll get a higher pitch sound. A lot of beginner drummers don't realize that most of the time when I'm playing the bell, I'm actually using the side of the stick. So I'm way up here on the cymbal and I'm hitting with the heavy part of the stick to get a big sound. So I hope this gives you a nice crash course into how to get a great sound from your jazz ride cymbal.